Hello, my name is Lupita Navarro. I'm with the Office of Engaged Scholarship and Learning, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to serve as an abstract reviewer for the Engaged Scholar Symposium. So first off, what is the Engaged Scholar Symposium? It's the largest multidisciplinary gathering of undergraduate scholars in South Texas, and it was conceived to share and celebrate undergraduate-led research, service learning, and creative works projects. If you haven't already signed up to be an AFPAC reviewer, please visit our website listed here so you can sign up and find out more information. So there are multiple kinds of projects and presentation styles at the symposium. The project types are research, service learning, and creative works. And there are four presentation styles, poster presentations, oral presentations, an art gallery, and performances. So each project type can be presented in a select style. For research projects, students have the option of doing a poster presentation, an oral presentation. For service learning, those presentations can be posters. And then for creative works, we have oral presentations, the art gallery, and performances. We also have a wide variety of disciplines that participate, which are listed here. In terms of the content, which you'll be seeing as a reviewer, you'll see the title of the presentation, the project type, and the discipline. They can choose a primary discipline and opt to also include a secondary discipline. You'll see the presentation style, the language of the presentation, and if they have opted to compete or not. Abstracts range from 100 words to 500 words, except for competing oral presentations which will range from 500 to 1,000 words. Now on to procedures on how to submit your scorecards. We will be sending all of our abstract reviewers an invitation to join on the submittable platform. You will receive an email in your inbox that looks something like this, and you'll be presented with a link so that you can sign in. Submittable can also be accessed through your My utrgv.edu account and if you're an UTRGV affiliate or you can also visit our link here so that you can sign in that way. What you'll look for if you're going to myutrgv.edu is the submittable icon which is also here. So we expect that your assigned review should take no more than an hour but you can always divide up your time and complete the review in stages and always return back into it so that you can look at the review and the abstracts that you have. To view your assigned submissions, once you get into the platform, you will be presented with a screen that looks just like this. If you happen to also be a submitter or have some submissions present on the platform already, then you can go to your profile, click on your profile, and then once you're granted access, you should be able to see here a team account, which is for our office, Engage Scholarship and Learning. Once you click there, you can then select submissions and that'll pull up your list of submissions. An individual submission will look just like this. What you'll see is the submission's title. Submitters' names are blind, so you will not be able to see them. You'll see the form that it was submitted on, which will also include the project type, the date, status, and then the assignment. On the bottom, you'll see some labels but all of this information is also included in the submission itself. Here you'll see on the left side is the submission. On your right side of the screen is the scorecard. You can access this portal right here where you'll be submitting them by clicking on your title. Once you click on that, you'll see the rest of the submission. You'll see that this one is an oral presentation, the discipline is social science, and the optional secondary discipline is health science. They anticipate presenting in English-Spanish bilingual and they are not opting to compete. Beneath this, you'll also find the abstract. You'll just scroll down. Your scorecard is presented question by question so that you can see here. You'll be able to select which one of the options you'd like to choose. The scale that we're going to be using is from excellent to poor. Excellent meeting the expectations and exceeding them. Good meeting the expectations, but additional information could still be included. Fair, the information is present, but not quite clear. And poor is the criteria is absent. We have provided attachments so that you can read a little bit more about rubrics and the different criterias in the invitation email. 
If you do have a conflict of interest, you can let us know on the scorecard or by jumping over to the activity side. You may also let us know via email. Whenever you're ready to submit, you can select Finalize Review at the bottom of your scorecard to submit the scorecard. Or if you're working on it in stages, you can also save as a draft and return back to the scorecard to finalize your review at a later time. If you happen to submit a scorecard and then you want to go back and change it, you can do that by selecting the title of that submission again and then going back up and making whatever changes you'd like to your scorecard. And then at the bottom selecting Update Review. This will change the assigned score that you'll see in that submission. If you'd like to filter down your assigned submissions to only those which you have yet to rate, you can use the filter which is right above your list of submissions. In order to do that, you'll just select at the top to open your filters and then there's one here that's called rating. Once you select that, you'll be given the option to select those not rated and just hit done and filter. And those will be filtered down to only those who do not have a rating yet. We thank you very much for your support of the Engage Scholars Symposium and if you do have any questions following up on this video or if you need some technical support, please reach out to us. You can reach out to us at 956-665-3461 or shoot us an email at engage at utrgv.edu. Thank you!